So let's talk about a moment about an axis for a minute. Sometimes when you have a bolt, it's really only the work that you're doing that's actually along the axis of the bolt that helps you. I mean, after all, if you hold your wrench sort of crooked and you're pushing this way a whole bunch, it doesn't help you a whole bunch. What you need to do is actually turn the bolt along the axis of the bolt. Same thing with a door. If you come along the door and you push on the top of the door, it doesn't turn very well. You might be creating a moment if you're pushing mostly down and a little bit crooked. That still creates a little bit of a moment along the axis of a door. But the door only turns with the amount of moment that you're putting around the axis itself. So if we talk about the axis like your thumb <clears throat> being the axis that we're talking about, what I want to know is how much of the moment, how much how many of, I mean, if you take the magnitude of your vector, how much of that magnitude is actually along that axis? And how much of it is wasted effort? So let's define some terms here for a minute. If B, let B be the point of application of your force. A is a point on the line. It doesn't matter what point you pick, just a point on that line. R is the position vector from A to B. Then you would be able to say that the moment at A due to F is in fact R cross F. That's the same as we had before. Let lambda L be the unit vector along the axis. The moment along the axis, the amount of the moment that actually lies along that line is the dot product of lambda L and R cross F. So if you're looking over here in 2D, I've got this red line L and a force F. R is the act the vector, position vector, from A to B. And I can take the actual dot product here to find out how much of the resulting moment from R cross F lies along that line. And I have one example for you here to look at. Let my line in space be along the line connecting P1 and P2. So I've got points there. I've got some force, 2i plus 3j minus 4k, I made it up. That force acts at this point in three space. I want to know how much of the moment caused by this force lies along that line. So the moment along the line is what I'm looking for. The position vector along the line would be 2 minus from, P2 minus P1. That gives me 3i plus 3j minus 7k. The unit vector along that line is found by dividing by the magnitude. So my unit vector is 3 over root 67i plus 3 over root 67j minus 7 over root 67k. That's the unit vector along this red line. My position vector now is not along the line. It goes from this point to that point. That's like the r I had a minute ago. And if you take 2 minus from here, you get 2i minus 3k. Now, if I want to find a moment at this point, due to that force, the moment at P1, due to this force, I can take that cross product. And if I take that cross product, I get 9i plus 2j plus 6k. That is the moment, and it's a, it's a vector, but it's a vector moment at that point. What I want to know is how much of it lies along that line. To do that, I have to take the dot product of this moment and the unit vector along the line. And that dot product gives me negative 1.10 newton meters. That's a scalar, because I already know the direction. The direction is going to be along my bolt. What I want to know is, how much moment have I got there?